Good morning, Sebastian Lacido here, and welcome to Five Minute Fresh Start. Uh, I'm going to read uh, one verse in uh, Proverbs chapter 14. It says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death, and so or destruction. And so, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> I've been doing this a long time. You know, there, there are things that seem right to us. There's things that we would bet on. There's things that we would say, I know, I know, I know, I know that this is right. And it seems right, and it feels right, but it's not right. It's not God. In fact, I can tell you <clears throat> that we can't make decisions in our life uh, based on common sense all the time, because uh, it wasn't common sense for Moses to leave Pharaoh and to go into the wilderness. It wasn't, you know, we. It wasn't common sense to walk on water. It wasn't common sense to to feed a multitude with a bag of groceries. Right. A lot of times. The opposite is true when it comes to the things of God. And so um, when we look at uh, the word, uh, we have to understand that his ways aren't our ways. His thoughts aren't our thoughts. And so we're, we're wrong from the beginning. In fact, we grow up completely wrong until knowledge comes in. We have a carnal mind, right? We think like the world. We act like the world. And then the word comes. So a lot of times, God is going to call us into situations that are going to make no human sense at all. They're not going to make sense to your financial planner, your, 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 your pastor, your, uh, you know, any advisor or consultant, because it's God. And so he can send us down a road that's much different. You know, there's a, there's a scripture I love that's in Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. It says, O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It's not in man who walks to direct his own steps. It's not natural in man to know God. It's not natural in man to know spiritual success. It's not natural in man to find uh, the will of God. You know, we know there's a God. Nature tells us there's a God. Intelligent design is seen in nature. But to know the will of God, we don't. And so, uh, you know, it goes on, verse 24 says, O Lord, correct me, but not... But with justice, not in anger, at least you bring me to nothing. You know, and so he's saying, correct me, Lord, grow me, Lord. It's one of the first things I think that I really learned as a, as a Bible teacher was that the deceived always think they're right. You know, when, when you look at the scripture and somebody extrapolates something out of it that's untrue, that's false, it's not, it's not proper doctrine. You know, and it's, it's as simple as reading the verses before or after you know, but they want that verse to make sense. Uh, you know, people, when they're deceived, they always think they're right. And so one of the things you have to learn is, I, I could be wrong. Let me erase what I think and go back to the scripture and try and see what the real truth is. You know, and, and so when you, when you look at our lives, we have to be pliable enough and we have to be understanding enough to know that we're going to be wrong a lot of the time. And so I'll be always be open to challenges, always be open to looking at the word with fresh eyes. Uh, there was a time in my life, just a little testimony here, there was a time in my life where I stopped listening to other teachers. In fact, for, for a long dispensation of time, I didn't listen to anyone else. It was just me, the Holy Spirit, and God, and the Bible. That was it. And I redid and re-engineered some of my thinking, some of my doctrine, because I looked at it through fresh eyes. It's the same thing in other areas of our life. It may, the, the Bible says it may seem right to you, but it can be completely wrong. You know, so that's how we rely on the Holy Spirit. We rely on the Word of God to teach us, to analyze it for us, and we rely on our friends to speak into our life if they're led by the Spirit of God. So that's our broadcast for today. Please share this with family and friends. Uh, please uh, go to our website. We have workbooks. You can actually order DVDs and workbooks. They're all free. It's a several curriculum. All you have to do is pay for shipping. And then lastly, we survive by partners. We survive by your generous donations. We're a remote ministry, so we survive by your $10, 20 50 $100 donation a month. Uh, so if we're speaking into your life, I ask you to speak into ours. God bless you, and have a great day.